Deus. E aí, o laço do que é o material que eu compro. Eu já vi esse vídeo se inscrever e comentar no meu canal. E aí, o que é isso? 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 E aí, o que é I mean, look at you, look gorgeous, oh, smiling you. from ear to ear. It's, you seem sweet thank and genuine. You, you. you mind if I get your Instagram? Yeah. Okay. Where are you from? I'm from here. Are you from Houston? Yeah. Oh, so that's good, that's good. And hopefully you can um, show me around, you know what I'm saying? Show me some nice chill spots and some good food of spots to eat. Of course, yeah. I'm going to get your Instagram. And look at you. Gorgeous, okay. Makeup on flea, yeah, hair on flea. Yeah, you That's what I'm supposed to do, right? Okay. Oh, snap. Don't you model or something? No. You don't model? No. I mean, like you model from on here? Why don't you model? They said I'm too short. Too short? What? You can't let them say nothing, you know what I'm saying? You can't let them stop nothing. You gotta go ahead right, and try. I think right. I think you should go for it, to be honest. You're right. So, uh, what's your plan for today, though? Nothing. I was just about to go see if I could find something to eat. Oh, yeah? Oh, shit. Me, that's, not, that's what I'm on, too. You might be talking inside the car real quick. The car? You don't mind? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Appreciate it. Gentlemen, okay. So what up though? Tell me about yourself. Um, what do you do? I'm a waitress. You're a waitress? Yeah. Oh, okay. How long you been a waitress? Since last September. Okay, how's that going? It's good. It's real good? Okay, where, where are you, um, Rich is at? Grace's. Grace's, what is that? It's like a little, well, a lot of people know it for a brunch spot, but we have like Southern comfort food. Oh. Like fried chicken, chicken fried, fried chicken. chicken for real? Yeah. I've been craving fried chicken. Like, you know, so I've actually been like really been uh, craving I say, that. I would say let's go there, but it's my job. Yeah, so y'all know you don't want to go to your job. You be there, but yeah. too much, huh? So you want to yeah. try. So what's some good spots to go eat at, though? You know? Uh, I mean, what do you like? I mean, I like soul food. You know what I'm saying? I like seafood. Stuff like that. Yeah. What you like? I mean, I like anything. I eat everything. I eat everything. Yeah. And what is that? Anything. I'm not a picky eater. Nah. So uh, are you down for soul food or seafood? You you surprised me. I surprised you. I mean, I'm just. I'm not I, just picky. I mean, I don't know where to eat at. Like I said, I just moved here, so what I don't you, know. What, oh yeah, that's right. Let's look. Uh, we can go soul food, seafood. You pick. Soul food. I'm gonna let you pick. Soul food. Soul food. Yeah. Okay, I'm done with that. So, what's the good soul food spot we can go to? I don't know. Uh, Mickey's. Mickey's. People might not think Mickey's is good, but what's another one? You should be people. If people think that, I don't want to go there again. No. Well, like it's packed. To be packed. Oh, be packed up. Oh, that means it's good then if it's packed. Yeah, it's always right? packed. Yeah, it's always packed. But okay. I don't know. I mean, we can try that out. You know. Yeah, let's go to Mickey's. I'm down with that. So, um, so you stay around this area, or? Uh, yeah. Well, I was visiting our friend. I'll stay here. Oh, yeah. Are you single? Yeah. You single? Unfortunately. Why are you single? You're too gorgeous to be single, you know? I just got broken up with today. You just got broken up with today? You gotta be lying. Today? That's why I'm walking, trying to go find something to eat by myself. Wow. How long you been in a relationship? It was like two years. Two years? Don't why do y'all break up? What you mean make you... So you break up with you or do you break up with home? Um, it was kind of like mutual. Mutual. So why are you going to cry? Because right? I mean, like, I loved him too, but like. Yeah. So if you love him, and so what's the reason? Like, wow, what's going on? Fix it. You know. It's too toxic. I can't. Too fix toxic. It. I can't. I can fix my part. I can't fix his part. Yeah, but just have a sit down talk. You know what I'm saying? That's all. It's hard to talk to a Scorpio. It's hard. I mean, I ain't really, I ain't deal with no Scorpios. So. They don't talk. They just scream. They just scream. So you think they all like that? I'm pretty sure they all not like that. I don't really like put everybody in the category. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So does your guy like that? That's it. I would say so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's out of here. And you broke up with you today. You got That's any kids? Okay. I do have one. Oh, one kid. Oh, and so is a girl. Baby. All right. How old is she? She'll be three next month. Oh wow. So is you? Uh, is he the baby daddy that you did broke up with? Or no. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how many kids do you want? Okay, I always wanted, I always said I wanted to have a big family. Yeah. Uh, but after pushing out one, I don't know if I can push out seven. I used to say I wanted seven. Seven? Wow, seven. Because my grandma had six. 
So you wanted like, tougher and yeah. I wanted to get seven. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to yeah. get one extra more or make yeah. it seven. And then I wanted a big family too, so I was like, why not seven? And then seven is my lucky number. That's tough. But after pushing out one kid. So what you thinking now? Maybe Only one? Two. Maybe, Maybe two. <laughs> you got you gotta have at least two. No, yeah, you for guys, sure. But I want her to have yeah, yeah, you don't want her to grow up and be like, oh, I'm lonely, no yeah, sister, but... no brother. She needs a sister and a brother, to be honest. You gotta do three. She gotta have a sister and she gotta have a brother. Matter of fact, you gotta have four. The reason why? Because listen, there gotta be two girls and two boys. You know? She gotta have a sister, and then if she have a brother, he gonna have to have a brother too. You get what I'm saying? So you gotta make it. I know, that's why I be. So, I be. You know, so everything will work how you want it to work, so you might end up having seven. Because what if it's you having girls, or what if it's. No, for you real. Know, when you so, keep saying it, you're gonna like you know. say, say it into existence. What do they say? Manifest? Yeah, manifest, yeah. Yeah, no. You gotta manifest. If you manifest, it's gonna, it's gonna come. I pushed her out natural. Yeah. No pain medication, no. So I know that, that was tough, huh? <laughs> I mean, my mom asked me right after I did it, she was like, would you do it again? I was like, yeah. yeah so the only thing pain, I didn't like you're was. You pain like, free? Yeah. yeah, I have a high pain tolerance. Yeah. Not a pain freak. I don't mm. like like pain. But you got any tattoos? Pain. Yeah, I have like five. Can I see? I mean, the one that's visible. This one. Okay. I got this one. Oh, what is this? Like a. So I was engaged to my daughter's dad. Oh. But we couldn't get a ring, so we just got matching tattoos. I never heard that. So yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, and that one right here. You want to say we're doing this? Uh, what, what is it's that? a rose with his initials. Oh, hold on, hold on. So that's your, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's slow it down here. <laughs> so that's your baby daddy initial, right? Yeah. And the guy you did with is, uh, it's not your baby daddy, right? No. So was he okay with it? He is covered I mean, up? he asked me about it, but I mean, like, what can he really do? I got it before I met him, so, you know. I mean, I would have covered it up. I would like not be covering it up with my name right there now. True, but I, you know, a tattoo's permanent, so like I have to really put thought into what I really want to get to cover it up. I would have helped you with that. Because like, I kind of regret. <laughs> what do you mean you want to help me with I would have helped you with that. I'm like, okay, but let's sit down. Let's figure out oh, how to cover oh. this up now, you know? Well, I mean, no. So when we first met, he was just like, okay, yeah. like just, okay. And then like recently, he was like, wait, whose initials are those? <laughs> And, then he, so, <laughs> and, and so he did ask me. He was like, uh, "Are we gonna cover that up?" Yeah. Or like, and what did you say? Like, yeah, I was like, so. yeah. I was like, yeah, eventually, but I just needed to figure out what I want. Yeah. No, I always said I was gonna cover it up. I just don't know what I want. I mean, I want to get this one covered up too. It's a Taurus. I don't really like it. You a Taurus? You were a Taurus. When your birthday? That's how you're a Taurus. Yes, I'm a Taurus. When your birthday? That's how you're a Taurus. Yes, I'm a Taurus. When your birthday? Get out of here. Yes. May seventh. Wow, mine's May 20th. Oh, you're on the cusp. You I don't want to hear it. Barely. barely. I hate when people say that. You can't say that because we don't say that. I hate when people say barely. How did I barely? I didn't barely nothing. I'm in the tourist. You get what I'm saying? I'm a tourist. I'm, I ain't barely nothing, you know? You're barely a tourist. So, what did you do for your birthday? What did I do for my birthday? Um, My friends took me home. Yeah? Yeah. You had fun? Yeah, I had fun. But you know, my birthday is May 7th. It's like Mother's Day weekend. So. Yeah. Nobody's really trying to hang out. Everyone's with their moms, which I don't blame them, but my birthday usually sucks. I just want to take a trip somewhere. Yeah. So we still we still friends by then. Hopefully we can probably take a trip yeah, together. Trip. Yeah. yeah. So where you, uh, have you ever wanted to travel to? Where do I want to travel to? I really want to go to Europe. Europe? I don't care where in Europe, somewhere in Europe. I thought about going to Europe too, to be honest. So we, can, though. we can go there. I'm done with that. You know, so it's nothing to me. So let's go ahead and um, head and make it. How far is Mickey Smirk? I think, where are we? I think like 15 minutes. Yeah, let's go ahead and go ahead and type it in. So I can see where I go on or where I'm supposed to go. Buckle up. Say this first. Always. I tell my daughter that. I'm definitely like, down to go to Europe, though, to be honest. She's like, no, I don't want to go. <laughs> well, she don't like getting buckled up? No. Safety first, though, you know? Yeah. I don't want to sit down. Apparently, the police gonna come get you. <laughs> I literally have to scare her, and I felt bad because, you know. She gets scared. I don't really. I don't really. Well, no, why do children get scared? Like. I mean, almost. I think they just get intimidated by the sirens. And then oh, when it you is. Like the real sirens, loud. Yeah. yeah. When you associate the sirens. I think because we freak out, then they be like, "Hold on, you freaking out." They I need to freak out too, right? Yeah, probably. I uh, well, I don't know where she learned it from, but she was like, "Mommy, the police comes get the bad guys." I I never told her that though. Cause, you I, mean, know, I don't really. This is her dad. Her dad probably said. Oh, no, her dad doesn't like cops. Yeah. What's your uh, um, ethnicity? I'm Vietnamese. Vietnamese. Oh, okay. And what is your baby daddy? What's his? He's black. Oh, so yeah, he definitely is. Yeah, he doesn't like <laughs> cops. And you know, like, so you I've, like, I've, I've like dated. Americans. Yeah, I've like dated us. black guys most of my life. So, like, why y'all like us so much? 
Y'all love us. I mean, I grew up with them. I grew up with Hispanics and Blacks. Yeah. Yeah. So that's. I mean, that's what I'm familiar with. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I like your vibe, though, man. For real, for real. Like, and you a tourist, so that's probably why I'm like vibing we with vibing, you. To be honest, yeah. we be vibing, we be chill, but we get crazy. We can't only the person really like you know what I'm saying take us there to be honest. No, yeah, take we, us there. we really be chill, but yeah, we be chill. Uh, but like I said, you know, when it gets time. It's time. It's time. Like, no lie. <laughs> yeah. Real. So, your plans today, you just chilling, just trying to find some meat. What you doing after? Yeah, I was just going to go eat by myself because no one else wants to eat with me. I mean, luckily, I ran to you. ran to me. Yes. Yeah, you know God's saying? crossed our paths. Yes, you know. And luck, like you say, you got broken up with today. So yeah. You know, you're blessed. Get out of here. For real. Wait, who wait. knows? You got to think about that. You got to really wait. think about that. Sun you is know, out. You know what I gotta say? Well, everything happens for a reason. Everything do happen for a reason. There's so much trash right here. Houston is is crazy with trash. I know, yeah. I live in Houston all my life, but maybe within the last two years, I'm just kind of like, I want to be because everyone's gonna be here. Like, yeah, I'm not gonna probably be here that long. I'm probably serious. See how like the vibe is here. I'm just trying to see where I'm fitting at. I'm probably going to LA next time. I don't like Miami. You don't like Miami? I've been in Miami more than I've been in LA. Yeah. Yeah. Never been in Miami. So were you like LA better? I didn't really get to associate with people in LA, so I don't know if they're friendly, nice, but I heard they were rude too. Yeah. But I feel like Houston's like the most friendliest city. Like we're the most open. Outcome. So far, I've been cool here. I like I like Houston so far. Yeah. 